M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are, the ICOM IC7000 VHF, UHF, HF 6 meter transceiver with a nice color screen. It's like a color screen version of the ICOM 706 Mark II, but they're not identical. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you the quick menus. To get into the quick menus and the main menu settings, you press this button here, okay, you just press it, and you will be presented with these four different options on one, two, three, and four. So let's do the first one, which QS, which I guess stands for quick settings. So push it, and in this one, we've got a few options, which we can select with the up, down arrows. So we start off with RF power, and we, cha we change this with the large VFO, okay? And you can go on HF, 100, it's 100 watts, it's pretty good. Okay, let's go, let's press it down. Now we've got the mic gain. With all of these options, if you get a bit lost, you can hold down the DEF for default, and you will go back to its original settings. If we change it to 80, then hold it down, the default is 50%. It's a percentage, it's not 50 watts. So if you're on FM or UHF, it will be a percentage of its transmit power. Let's go down again, push the arrow here. Now we're on the transmit bandwidth. If we move the large VFO, you can see it changing here. And it says wide L here. The default is 100. If we go down again, Transmit bandwidth H and look so high cut low cut I would say default 2900 So that's your quick settings you've got transmit bandwidth narrow As well mid Quite a few selections there and wide and we'll come out now by pressing the push button here now we'll select DISP, which I think stands for display. So if we start at the top with the arrows, so we've got contrast. Again, every option has the default setting when you hold down F4. LCD unit bright, LCD flicker, backlight switches, display type, we've got blue, white, and black. Display font, font type, basic, italic. So we'll leave it on basic. Display font size, I do like them large, so normal or large. We'll do that and I'll show you what large looks like. Back out completely. Look, there you are, large fonts, okay. Let's go back in, push here and then display again. And it does, you do go back to where you were. We'll go down. Peak hold, on or off. Peak hold, my guess is, is what is to do with the scope. So if we back out, hold down the menu, push it again, hold it down until you get, not, not the S to get, push it again, and look, you've got SWR, and now you've got your scope. And the peak hold, I think, is, see the green parts, it will hold them for a while before it settles down. You push hold, then you can hear everything. And then you can go along with your and select things. So it's quite good, really, for its time. You think this came out 2004? Okay, back out, back to display, and then we'll go down, filter, pop up. Um, that's when you, if you turn that on or off. So if we go menu, I've not had this radio long, but we can guess most of it. Filter, look, you get a pop-up. If you hold it, it will stay. But if you just press it, it will pop up. So if we go back to the thing, display, on or off. Okay, I like that, on. PBT, filter, one megahertz mode pop-up. Okay, scope center fix pop-up, voice TX name display on, Q 
IKEA memory display, DTMF memory display, external display, well, we're not using that at the moment, opening message on, and my core, which I don't think we've put it in there yet. Should we select it? Go edit, and we can go M, H, I, J, K, M, and then you move along with it with the right arrow, then to get numbers here, you press the up arrow, it says numbers here, and we can select zero, along, then push the up arrow again, and again, F. I mean, this is not a D-star radio, so it doesn't really matter. It's more just to see it when it boots up. This, this radio can actually be a television. X, B. Okay, and then just back out. And then when you turn the radio on and off, it will say my call sign. Right, let's go down. Power on, check. That's everything in that menu. Let's go back. And now we'll hit the time menu. So we can set the time. So we've got the year, date, time, which we need to reset. Clock function. I'm going to turn that on. Clock offset. Well, I'm not sure if there is one at the moment. Auto power off. I think I like that on about an hour. And that's it. So we'll back out. There is a clock here. Now let's press it again. We're on the last menu, but this is the longest menu, OTH. I'm guessing that stands for other. Monitor on off, so that means that when it's on and we speak into the microphone, M0FXB, you'll be able to hear yourself. Let's just turn it up. M0FXB. M0FXB, yeah. And you can actually adjust that so you can hear it louder or quieter, and that works really well. Monitor level, beep confirmation, we like beeps. Beep band edge on, yeah, we like that. Beep level, maybe turn it down a bit. Beep level limit on, RF squelch control is auto. Okay, so basically if you're on SSB, it will, it will be use RF gain. If you're on FM, it's gonna use squelch. Quick split on, we want that, because it gives us uh, we can just hold down the quick split and it would add the shift for us. We can set the offset, split lock, duplex offset. They're all here by default. They look about right. I mean, I think the that one's correct, but the the 70 centimeter one I would say should be 7.6. I would say so 7.6. Is a more commonly used one these days. That's all set. One touch repeater, that's good. Yeah, just it's basically like an auto repeater shift. Tuner auto start. We've not got a tuner connected at the moment. Tuner PTT auto. That's for when we select an automatic tuner. You send, I don't know what that is. Speech level, that's when you hear that. It tells you the frequency, which is a very nice function. Speak language, well, English, speed, S level, speech S level, I like that. Speech mode switch, I'm not sure what that does. Um, so I'm gonna turn it on, I'm not really sure what that does. Memo pad numbers, scan speed, scan resume, that's all about scanning. Manual dial auto, that's here. And then now it's all different where you can um, decide what the function buttons on the mic do. And you've got function one and two here. Quick RIT XXTC clear. I'm going to put that on. SSB CW sync for tuning. CW normal. Voice first message. Kia first message, DTMF, and we've done some DTMF sending. Mode select on, mode select CW, it's all there. On, 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 external keypad, mm, what's that? Not use that, external Kia, would that be the type of paddle you use? 
I'm guessing front keypad type dot and dash. So you can actually, I'm pretty sure you can use the radio without a, key, uh, uh, a CW keyer, but you, you can still perform CW using the actual radio. Board rate, CV, IV address, this is all to do with data modes. Reflector adjust. And that's it. So that's all your quick menus. So I thought I'd show you them. It's a fun radio. It's nice and easy to use. Band up and down. You've got preamp, your mode. You can select. Tuner if you have one connected. Your menu, so you hit the bottom one, that's your M menus, two, three, and four. You can hold it, your sub menus. You know about the quick menu. And then if you hold again, you get your all your meters. And again, your SWR, which is pressing like that when you push play. And you can select with these how many graphs you want, the steps you want. Obviously, you have to be in a band that's worked with the antenna on. And then you've got your scope, which is quite usable, really. Mm. It's a very good scope, actually. It's very fast. Look at that. Quick scan. You can hold it. I mean, there is, but it's still usable like that. And we've got your filters here. Now we've got noise reduction on. That's without. With. Noise blanker. The manual notch is, is pretty good. Hold it and you get this. And it works well. Got wide. I like it. Auto. Filters, they're quite handy. Filters numbered at the top. It's our power. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo QRP. I don't want to push it because I've got my tuner. I haven't got my tuner. I hear all that whistling. Let's try the filter. Push, what you do, you push this and it lights up, then you can adjust. You hear that noise? Hold down the filter. So yeah, we've got away from that whistling. There's someone near, isn't there? Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. So I don't really want a TX. Let's have a look at our SWR. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Just look here for SWR. Mike 
Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Yeah, we got a high. We got a high SWR, so I'm not going to risk it. I have got a tune rear, but I'm not. I'm just doing this video for now. So thanks for watching. I think we've covered pretty much everything. If you hold down the TS, you can change your frequency steps. See that? And you can do it in FM as well. That's very nice. Or default, one kilogram, one kilohertz. Let's do zero one. Let's try that. That it goes. See that? We can really fine tune now. Oh, it's a lovely set. That's why I, I know. I know people talk about the finals burning out and all that kind of stuff. I think it's a lovely set. So bye for now, 7-3.